Hey. You're coming tonight? No, I didn't forget. Pope Francis. Uh, hey, Paul, I totally slept on this, but I told my buddy Pope Francis that he could stay with us for the week. Look, that guy's such a hassle. He's gonna make the whole place smell like frankincense. Honestly, I didn't actually say yes. I was drunk on Facebook a couple months ago, and Pope Francis was like, hey, John, would love to come spread the word of God in New York. And I was like, yeah, dude, we'll see. I don't know what that means where he comes from, but in New York, it means don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Hey, it's uh, just the Pope, right? Uh, yeah, it's just the Pope. It's not just the Pope. He's got security, archbishops, Pope mobile operators. I made a bag of keys. They better have shit to do during the day. I'm not taking off work to hang with some guy I barely know anymore. These texts have been coming in nonstop since he got off the plane. At JFK, please pick me up in bulletproof glass bubble car. Tell me you have spare papal tiara. Left mine in VC. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for me. And then it's another text that says, welcome to New York. And then it's another text that says, welcome to New York. Ha ha, I think I'm a carry. Pope Francis. My son, I made 55 homeless men this morning. We should take them in. Bringing them now. They will need keys. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. That sounds uh, great. Let me, um, let me just ask my roommate one sec. My child, we must go to Jerry Seinfeld Diner. And then it's another text that says, welcome to New York. And then it's another text that says, welcome to New York. And then it's another text that says, welcome to New York. And here's one that just says, Times Square, ha ha. 